If you would like to see how I got this face using Wet n Wild products, keep on watching. So the first product I'm using is this eyebrow pencil. I'm brushing my brows out and using the crayon in to fill in my eyebrows. I didn't have much of a problem using this. It worked like any old regular eyebrow pencil. It did the job. And this pencil only cost me $2. This next step is totally optional. I'm using the Photo Focus Concealer and it's in the color Medium Tawny. I'm just taking that concealer and highlighting under my brow bone. Like I said, this is optional. Then I'm just blending it out. Next, you see me here priming. I am not using a Wet n Wild primer, unfortunately, but I'm sure they make those as well. Okay, so next we're going in with the Photo Focus Foundation in the color Coco, and I am using this nifty little applicator that they put in the bottle. It's like a spatula almost, and you can apply it to your face. I thought that was really neat. It really helped with keeping my fingers clean because I'm used to using my fingers to apply my foundation. But then I'm moving along to blending it out with my one and only Real Technique sponge. This sponge is very inexpensive and it's the bomb.com. So get you one girl. And don't forget when you're using these sponges to make sure they are damp. It will make a world of difference. Alrighty, so next I'm going in with that Photo Focus Concealer again and I am highlighting under my eyes doing the same methods that I always do and I really like the concealer. I feel that it was really creamy and it was good for the price. By the way, the concealer was $3.99. All right, so next I'm going in with the Mega Cushion Contour and this is in the color something slay it's a really really cushioning um, type packaging where it reminds me of those old school nail polish removers with the sponge in there and it has liquid under it but anyway it's um, mega cushion and you can apply it to your regular contour areas but I just did not Feel like this matched my skin like did they think I was the color of the girl on the packaging or what but it did not work for me so moving along we're setting our face with the also photo focus powder and this powder was okay I feel like um I just think that these colors weren't really true because I picked the darkest colors that they offered but I feel like I'm still looking a little Casper-ish in this video but all in all it oxidized and did what it needed to do and I looked okay in the end. So as you see I'm going in with this trio eyeshadow palette and it's called Walking on Eggshells and I'm taking that lightest color and highlighting under my brow bone once again. So now I'm going in and I'm just doing a simple wing liner, well at least trying to, but about this eyeliner, I don't even remember the name, I didn't do a close up or anything on it, but the applicator that they used for this is just crap. I feel like it would have been so much better if it was a felt tip so it can kind of absorb the eyeliner, but it was more so like a plastic tip. It just gave me the blues, like I could not line my eyes usually with my pencil eyeliner I line my eyes in one swipe but this stuff was a mess so I do not recommend you picking this up and to correct that I typically don't line the top of my eyes with a pencil I usually use a liquid eyeliner pen and that works so much easier I had to constantly dip the applicator in the eyeliner 
and I just could not get it to draw a straight line. It, it just was not good. This product here though, this is the reason I even went to the store to buy any of these products. I heard so many good things about this Wet n Wild highlighter. I brought it home and instantly swatched it. It is very, very creamy for the price and it reminds me a lot of my MAC Global Glow highlighter but it is a third of the price, so it's awesome. So in order to save that terrible eyeliner, I applied lashes, and I used the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes by Allure. I really like these and they're easy to apply. To finish off the eyes, I went in and added mascara to my bottom lashes. This is becoming a must for me because it just helps to open up the eyes. This is not a Wet n Wild mascara, but it did, it did the job. So I'm finishing off with the lips, and this last product was my favorite. It was their Mega Last Liquid Katsu Liquid Lipstick, and this stuff was in the color Rebel Rose. And I feel like I gravitate to this mauve color a lot but it's the perfect neutral for me and this liquid lipstick particularly dry really really good so i would definitely buy this again i think this was only about three dollars so i want to get more colors definitely so i'm giving y'all great side profile right now because that highlight is beaming but this is the finished look i hope you guys really like this talk through review and I hope to see you guys in another video.